Now in this lecture we will discuss about reactions of Grignard reagent with esters or MgX is a organometallic compound and this is known as Grignard reagent. Grignard reagent can act as a base or sometime it can act as a nucleophile. So there are two functions for a Grignard reagent. It can act as a base or it can act as a nucleophile. Let us say a typical Grignard reagent is CH3MZBr. Carbon has negative charge and magnesium has positive charge. So this carbon can act as a nucleophilic center. Now let us consider a ester. Now this ester has a OR dash group and this group is a good leaving group. So ester has a good leaving group. Another important point for this ester is this carbon has sufficient positive charge. So oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. So this will pull the electron cloud towards oxygen. So oxygen will develop a negative charge and carbon will develop a positive charge. Similarly this oxygen will also pull the electron cloud so it will have a negative charge and carbon will develop a positive charge. So basically in case of ester this oxygen has negative charge, carbon has positive charge and this oxygen also has negative charge. So this means this carbon can act as a electrophilic center. So reactions of Grignard reagent with ester is nothing but this is a electrophilic nucleophilic reaction. For example, let us consider a reaction and this reacts with MEMZBR. and the solvent is ether. We have to find out the product. So generally Grignard reagent is used in ether solvent because Grignard reagent is very reactive it can react with water. So water is generally not used as a solvent in case of Grignard reagent. So let us say we can write product in this case using the mechanism we have Me minus this can act as a nucleophile and this carbon is electrophilic so this attacks on this carbon at the same time carbon cannot have phi bond so we have to break this oxygen carbon bond. This negative charge is neutralized by positive charge on magnesium. So in this case we will get salt as a product and this product is basically a addition product.
that is in the first step we have addition of me minus now the next step this o negative can pushes to this oet because oet is a good leaving group so that oet can be expelled from this molecule so negative charge basically forces this leaving group to go out from the molecule so we have rco minus mzbr oet me this forces and oet goes so we will have rc double bond o me oet minus and we will have mzbr plus now in our reaction in place of r we have ph group so our product will be ph so we have to replace r with ph c double bond o me so this is the general mechanism so this is a two step mechanism first step is addition and the second step is elimination so we are eliminating oat group so this step is elimination so this product is basically elimination product so we have addition and the second step is elimination overall reaction is substitution so we have done replace this oet group by a methyl group so overall reaction is substitution and this reaction is called or this mechanism is called acyl substitution mechanism acyl substitution mechanism and the final product we will have that is a ketone now let us say if i have the same reaction but if i use grignard reagent in excess let us say for this example in this case we have used only one mole of grignard reagent what will be the product if i use excess grignard reagent same question but this time grignard reagent used in excess that is we can use as we want grignard reagent and the second step is hydrolysis so what will be the product in this case now see in the first step we will get a ketone because acyl substitution finally gives a ketone so initial product we will have that is phc double bond o and we have to replace this oet group by methyl group so we'll get a ketone but now this ketone can be further attacked by grignard reagent to give a tertiary alcohol so me minus can further attack on this carbon and if i do hydrolysis so this is addition product this is the salt and if i do hydrolysis that is if i react with h2o this o minus will be converted into oh so final product is 3 degree alcohol that contains two same alkyl group that is methyl so 3 degree alcohol containing to same alkyl group now 
Now let us say we can have a ester that is cyclic. For example, let us say if I have this ester. So this is a cyclic ester. Cyclic esters are called lactones. Now in this case, if this is treated with pH MgBr and this is taken in excess and if I use the second step is hydrolysis, what will be the product? You can try yourself. pH minus will attack on this carbon and this will act as a leaving group. So pH minus will attack on this carbon, this opens up O minus and we will have a pH and this negative charge is neutralized by MgBr plus. In the next step, this can be expelled. This is similar to removal of O80 group that is the same step. Only thing is this time we have O80 group attached to the same molecule that is O minus remains in the same molecule. So we'll have C double bond O uh, basically it's O minus not C double bond O MgBr. Now this is a ketone and this can further be attacked by Grignard reagent that is pH minus can further attack on this carbon and this opens up. So we will have final product as alcohol O minus MgBr plus. Now we can acidify that is we can do hydrolysis or we can add H plus or we can simply add water. So if I add water this O minus gets converted into OH so this will be the final product you have again this is a 3 degree alcohol. Similarly you can try this problem that is if you have both side a living group attached and if you treat with Grignard reagent in excess and this Grignard reagent in taken in excess and the second step we are adding water what will be the product? Now idea is easy you see in this case what will happen you will attack this side pH group and then remove this O minus So in the first step you will have this. Next time pH minus can again attack on this carbon and then we can remove this one. So we will have pH, pH. That is 2 mole of Grignard reagent we have used. So up to this we have used 2 mole of RMZX. One this side and one this side. Now this product is a ketone, it can further be attacked by pH minus. pH minus can further attack and this opens up. So we will have pHCO minus pH. Now if I do hydrolysis, that is if I react with H plus or H2O or that is acidification, we will have a 3 degree alcohol. Now important point in this case all the three alkyl groups are same. Now in this case 
we have used three moles of Grignard reagent. So this is coming from Grignard reagent. This one and this one is also coming from Grignard reagent. So we have used three mole of Grignard reagent. Now you can try yourself what will happen in this case if I have HC double bond OET and if I treat with Grignard reagent and this is taken in excess and the second step we use water. Now once again this time you will use two mole of Grignard reagent because in one case this will be substituted and the product will be ketone that can further be attacked. So you will have PHCOH final product PH PH and this time you are getting a 2 degree alcohol that is secondary alcohol. So in all cases you will get 3 degree alcohol but in this a special case because this side we have hydrogen attached we will have a 2 degree alcohol. So in this lecture we discussed about reactions of Grignard reagent with ester and we said because esters had a good leaving group on esters we will have a sile substitution on aldehyde and ketone Grignard reagent gives addition reaction but in this case mainly we will have substitution and once this substitution occurs if I take Grignard reagent in excess further mole of Grignard reagent can also be added to the same molecule that is the ketone that is formed after the substitution to give the final product is a 2 degree alcohol or 3 degree alcohol. In a special case we will have 2 degree alcohol otherwise we will mainly have a 3 degree alcohol. We also said we can have a cyclic ester in case of cyclic ester we will have the product form that will that will not be fragmented that is after the reaction this O bond this CO bond remains in the same compound if you have a not a cyclic ester in that case this bond after the fragmentation you will have two product but in this case you will have only one product and that will contains two OH group so one OH group is coming from attack and another OH group is coming from leaving group that is this O minus. So this be said in this lecture.